Welcome to another Tech Topics in the Acropolis series. My name is William Witt. I'm a Systems Reliability Engineer here in Durham, North Carolina. And today we're going to be talking about just how easy it is to upgrade your Acropolis hypervisor. One of the main concerns around maintenance, like a hypervisor upgrade, is downtime or impact if it's done within normal production hours. And so typically it's done within a scheduled maintenance window. Uh, the great thing about Acropolis is you no longer have to schedule these maintenance windows unless you particularly want to because all of the hypervisor upgrades are done in a safe rolling fashion with sanity checks and high availability along the way. So let's take a look at how that works. So the upgrade would start on a given host. So for this, let's say host 1, and host 1 would be marked, it would be placed into maintenance mode, and user VMs would be migrated off of it onto other nodes within the cluster. So we place those virtual machines onto other nodes in the cluster, and they're effectively no longer here. Then we would perform the upgrade on this host, and once the upgrade has completed, and the host reboots, it's back online. Uh, health checks are performed against that host. And once it's labeled as safe and good to go, that upgrade then proceeds on to the next host within the cluster. So this host would be uh, placed into maintenance mode. And VMs would be migrated back to the first host repeating that process across the cluster in a controlled fashion. So let's take a look at how that works. Start out by logging into the Prism console, which we see here. And one important thing to note when you get here is to check the HA status uh, of your cluster. Um, if you've got HA enabled, uh, that HA status should be listed as, as OK, green, um, or green best effort. And if you hover over it, you'll see a message such as protected against one node failure. Um, if that's the case, then you're good to go and completely safe um, in this hypervisor upgrade. Uh, in another Tech Topics video, Chris Brown talks more about HA and Acropolis and, and how it works and things to look out for there. Also, if you've, for instance, recently performed an NOS upgrade or Acropolis-based software upgrade, um, you want to make sure that your data resiliency status is listed as OK on this home page here uh, prior to moving on to the hypervisor upgrade. Now, as far as performing the upgrade is concerned, just click on the gear icon up in the top right portion of the screen. Go to Upgrade Software. Select Hypervisor at the top. And then you'll need to upload the hypervisor binary files and you'll get these files from the Nutanix support portal. So we've got that opened here. On the support portal, you'll go to Downloads and Hypervisor Details. And then you'll just download the applicable bundle and metadata JSON file associated with uh, the hypervisor version that you're trying to install. In our case, that's going to be uh, the Nutanix Acropolis hypervisor targeted for uh, Acropolis Base 4.5. So we've already downloaded that. We'll move back over to the actual installation. So you select those two files that you downloaded from the support portal. First, the metadata file and secondly, the binary tar.gz file, and select Upload. OK, once that upload has completed, you'll be able to select either pre-upgrade or upgrade now from this list. Pre-upgrade will just start out by running the pre-upgrade checks that occur when you're upgrading your hypervisor version. Since that's done as part of upgrade, uh, regardless, we'll just go ahead and run an upgrade now. 
and click Upgrade. We'll get a progress monitor on this screen, and we can either watch the progress monitor from this Upgrade software menu, or we'll be able to press Close and view it from the progress monitor that appears in Prism up in the menu bar. So by clicking Open, we can view the actual details of what's going on. So we see that the hypervisor pre-upgraded checks passed, and it started uploading the hypervisor bundle to all of the CVMs within the cluster. That completed as well. We should see it move on to the actual upgrade shortly. So from here, we can see that, as previously described, it's performing the host upgrade on an individual host at a time. and it's going to wait until that has fully completed before moving on to the next host within the cluster. So we can just monitor the progress of that here. So as we see here, the upgrade has now completed on the first host. And if we scroll back up, we'll see it jump to one of the other two hosts in the cluster shortly. And if we close out of this and look over here, and check on HA status. HA status is back to a status of OK. And we see that the hypervisor summary now has uh, one host listed at that new build. All right, so we see that the upgrade has now jumped to host ID 6. So it's normal during this process, since each node reboots, to lose connectivity to Prism as the Prism leader migrates to a different node within the cluster. And so simply just logging back on, you'll be able to resume watching the progress of that upgrade. Also, some other important things to note about the upgrade. Earlier, we mentioned HA status. The expected progression of HA status throughout the upgrade is going to be starting out as, as green and OK. That's, that's when you would want to start an upgrade. And while one host is being upgraded, HA status is expected to go to critical as well as data resiliency status because you're, you're effectively down one node during that duration. Some other things to note are in the alerts, you'll see that a CVM goes into maintenance mode followed by that CVM rebooting. And so we'll return here later and see the full progression. We'll see that for all three hosts within this cluster. So now, checking that progress monitor, we'll see that the hypervisor upgrade has completed. And now, since all hosts are now on the same version, we see that that version has, is the only one appearing under the hypervisor summary. And our HA status is back to OK. And just to describe a bit about some alerts that you might see during the process, like I mentioned earlier, uh, each CVM is, is put into maintenance mode, followed by a CVM reboot after the hypervisor upgrade has occurred. So we see that occur one time for each host in the cluster. Also, there's a wall clock drift alert here, uh, which those aren't uncommon. Uh, when you have CVMs go offline for a period of time. A single alert like that is not necessarily anything to worry about. So we'll just mark all of these as resolved. Another thing to note here is that you'll also have some health checks go red as part of this process. And the health check that you should expect to go red is CVM reboot. Just notes that a CVM has rebooted recently, which, as you know, it has. And that will go back to green after one hour of uptime on the CVM. So if you see that persist beyond one hour, then it's best to reach out to support. And that is all. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Tech Topics. Hope it was helpful, and be sure to check out the channel for more videos.